Welcome. Today's session, we will be performing dynamic motor starting analysis. In the dynamic motor starting calculation or analysis, the starting motors are represented by dynamic models. And the motor acceleration module simulates the entire process of motor acceleration. This method is used to determine if a motor can be started and how much time is needed for the motor to reach its rated speed, as well as to determine the effect of the voltage dips on the system. Okay? Uh, this power line diagram is the same one line diagram we used before for our static motor starting analysis. Earlier, on our static motor starting analysis, we use this water, water injection pump motor, uh, 33 kV rated 8,500 kilowatt. This is with the BFT. Okay, right now, we're going to use a smaller motor, which is connected to the 6 kV uh, switch gear. We have here, we're going to use two induction motors from our case study today. One is the 530 kilowatt and the other one is 500 kilowatt. Okay. Uh, here, we're going to run first, we're going to simulate first the 530 kilowatt. This will run after one second. Then later, we will going also to simulate this 500 kilowatt and this will run also after five seconds. Okay. So first, we're going to provide information to this motor, okay? Let's double click this 530 kilowatt induction motor. Okay, so the requirements on performing dynamic motor starting analysis, we need to update or provide information on this session. Model, load, and inertia so this is uh, the main requirement on performing dynamic motor starting analysis okay so uh, let's go first to the model from here okay okay and then we're going to provide a, cir uh, a circuit model okay so in this case study, we're going to take the information from the library. But actually, in the actual uh, analysis for dynamic motor starting, the, it should be taken from the actual uh, motor vendor. Because you will have an exact and accurate uh, result if it is coming, if all the parameters are taken from the actual uh, motor, okay? So here, uh, we're going to select it from the library. Okay, just click this. Okay, we have here, for example, we're going to select the model type to be single one. Single one means equivalent Tavian in circuit model with constant rotor resistance and reactance okay so the design class will be uh, we're going to select hb h is ht and the model id will be the mb500 hp 2p okay let's click this and let's click okay okay so we have this information from the uh from the model okay we have here the model data single one okay uh, we have also here the nameplate data we have here the loading data the short circuit data and the characteristic data all this information if we have the actual uh, data of the motor we can update this information right now we are going to use the data from the library okay we can 
Select the update and click from here. Okay. And after that, okay, we have here. This is the circuit model, okay? And this is the nature of our core for the uh, person torque against the person slip. This one, the person uh, current against the person slip, okay? And this is this curve is the person power factor against the person slip, okay? So after that, after the model, we'll go to, uh, let's click this load from here, okay? And the load, let's uh, select polynomial. Okay, this is the curve from here, from the model ID. Since this is a pump motor, we'll select the pump here. Okay, so from here, you can see the... Uh, the corresponding speed and its percent torque. For example, if the percent speed is 25, okay, the percent torque is 5. If the percent torque is 75, we have also here the percent torque is 60.3. Okay, so from here, let's click OK. Okay, the last one we're going to go to inertia. Okay, from inertia, Okay, so we have here, this is the moment of inertia, WR square, and the inertia H. This is empty right now, okay. So, how this one will be calculated, okay. I'll show it to you. We have here, okay. To compute the inertia, we have two formula here. One is the English system, this one. And one is for the matrix system. For example, for the English system, the formula of inertia is equal to 2.31 times 10 to the power of negative 10 times the square of the moment of inertia times the square of the speed, the RPM over MVA. While for the English, uh, the matrix system, we have here the inertia is equal to 5.48 times 10 to raise, raise to negative to the power of negative 9 times the square of moment of inertia times the square of the speed or the RPM over MBA. Okay? Here, for example, we have, uh, we're going to assign here the value of the inertia after the calculation. Let's say, after our calculation, we got the value of inertia for the motor, let's say 0.15. Okay. See, this the moment of inertia is automatically uh, calculated here. And for the coupling, let's see 0.018. And for the load, let's see 0.083. Okay. So... We'll just click OK because everything now has been, uh, uh, all the information here are already being provided. So let's click OK on this. OK. Before, uh, uh, OK, so we're going now, this icon from here, motor acceleration, let's click on this one. OK. And we'll go to the study case from here. Study case. Okay. So we provide your MS dynamic. Okay. From the event, we're going to provide here. We're going to add. Okay. Here, the total simulation time is 10 seconds. And for the event ID, we're going to provide here. We're going to add from here. Okay, let's say motor 1 start starting. The motor will accelerate uh, ac uh, start after 1 second. Let's see 1 second from here. And let's click OK. So action by event. Okay, let's add from here. Okay, that, that motor 1. Okay, let's, going, let's say let's select this motor this motor uh, this is 11 to 20 c 2d 
Okay, this is the ID number of the motor. Okay, and let's click okay from this one. Okay. Now, let's click okay. From here, we have here, this one is static. And this one is for the dynamic motor starting. We're going to uh, select this one. But before that, we will have the comparison since earlier we performed the uh, static motor starting analysis and now we will be performing a dynamic motor starting analysis let's have some uh, comparison of these two motor starting analysis so let's open from here okay this score from here this is for the dynamic model or for the dynamic motor starting analysis this one is for the static motor starting analysis. This curve, this is for the lock rotor versus the time. Okay. Here, if you can see from here, this is our, uh, for the dynamic uh, motor, uh, motor starting analysis, we can, the lock rotor current, okay. Here, during the starting is slowly slowly decaying after uh, after picking up its rated speed okay but for the static motor starting the lock rotor current is fixed okay here there is a curve from here okay u curve and this is something that is only straight line okay from here until the motor reach on its rated speed so that's the difference between uh, dynamic motor acceleration and static motor acceleration okay let's go back to our power line diagram okay so we're going now to perform a dynamic motor starting so let's click this Okay, so we have here the motor starting time slider. Okay, let's click on the alert view. Okay. Here. Let's uh, expand this one. Okay. Okay. Here, it's empty. It's empty right now. Meaning, there's no abnormality when running this motor. So, there's no voltage dip. Okay. So, I will show you because we didn't mention this one earlier. Okay. Let's go to the study case. Okay. From the alert, this is our settings from the alert. Okay. We, uh, we adapted the, uh, the is a default from ATAP, okay? On the starting motor terminal voltage, we have here 80% crit for the critical and 90% for the marginal, okay? For the bus voltage, this is for the starting motor bus. We have 80% also here and 90% for the marginal. For... For the buses, okay, for 1 kV uh, above, okay, we have 90% in critical, uh, our settings is 90% for critical and 95% for marginal. For 1 kV below, we have also 90% critical and 95% the marginal. So, our, let's click OK on this. After performing the motor starting analysis, the dynamic, we have an unstable uh, voltage on the basis. That's why we don't have, by checking this alert view, we don't have the abnormalities. Okay. Right now, okay, let's check this motor starting time. Okay. Slider. We set that the motor has to run after one second. Okay. 
Okay. This is 1.02. Okay. 99 C. The here, this bus is so, uh, we have 99.19%. But this bus at 1.02 seconds during the uh, acceleration period of the motor is 96.53%. But our requirement is this bus should not be lower than uh, 90%. So this is still okay because we have here 96.53%. The other bus is here we have 98%, 97 okay, 97% and 99%. So we don't have an issue. We don't have an issue on the voltage dip for all the buses in in our system okay so let's close this motor starting time slider okay and let's check the motor starting plots okay just hold on Okay, so we have here, we're going to select the motor, okay, and check this. These are the plot type a lot because this is, you know, this is we're performing dynamic motor starting analysis. Let's see, we'll just select the sleep, the speed, the current, and the voltage terminal of the motor, and the bus also, and the motor torque okay and let's plot from here let's click this plot okay so this is the nature of our curve for the slip okay at one second you know it drop drops up to here okay after 2. Point, uh, say 2.2 seconds something like that okay for the speed also sticking up here and also uh, after 2 seconds it meaning the duration of the acceleration is more than 1 second so this is also the curve of our current from here during the starting, the current reaches around 500, uh, five times the full load amperes. Okay, and here, this is the, this is, this is the good thing for dynamic analysis because here you can see, uh, the nature on how the current decaying. Okay, so this time here, this is a flat line. This is when the motor is rich on its rated speed okay so from here also the uh, the motors here you can see from here there was not much uh, voltage uh, deep on the terminal of the motor see it's almost flat only okay so after this let's close this one first okay now we're going to simulate this 500 kilowatt motor along with the 530 kilowatt motor. Okay. First, we're going to add some information for this 500 kilowatt motor. Okay. Let's go to the model. The circuit model, let's select it from the library. Okay. Earlier, we selected single 1, right? And now we're going to select single 2. And the design class will be uh, HB, HS, HT also. And the model ID will select this. Okay? Let's click OK on this. Actually, single 2 model type is a circuit model with deep bar effect. Motor resistance on this model and reactance change with speed so let's click okay on this so 
these are the four uh, motor parameter okay from the library and let's update only okay so this is the nature of our circuit model okay and here are the uh, the core for the person to work again person sleep the core for the current against the sleep and the core for power factor against the sleep okay so we are okay on the model and let's go to the load for the load let's select polynomial okay and let's select for here this is pump motor also the same and this is the corresponding person speed against the person torque this is the actual value for this okay let's click okay on this and then the last one the inertia okay here let's say point two and the coupling is point 0.1 and for the load is let's say 0.15 okay so we have all the information also for uh, moment of inertia also oh, let's click ok here now uh, let's click this icon motor acceleration okay and let's edit the study case. Let's hold on. Okay. From here. The event. We're going to add the second motor. This one. Okay. The 500 kilowatt motor. So let's add from here. Let's say this motor M2. M2 m2 start and we're going to assign this motor has to start after five seconds okay let's click okay so total assimilation time same 10 seconds and we'll add the information this motor on the action by element add from here okay let's select this motor this is 135162 a1351 Zero one, this one here. Okay, let's click OK. Okay, see the five hundred kilowatt. Okay, and let's click OK only on this. Now, let's start again. Uh, running the dynamic motor starting with the two motors. The first motor will run after one second, and the second motor will run after five seconds. And let's check the behavior of our power system. Okay, let's click on this. Okay, so we don't see any alert, critical alert or marginal alert after running the uh, motor starting. Okay, so... From here, um, we can check our uh, motor starting time slider, okay? And we can check this. Uh, uh, this is this is the nature when this is the percentage here. This is the value before the motor starts at zero uh, second, okay? So after 0.16 seconds, after the mo 530 kilowatt start okay started it's 96.84 and 99.19 we don't have an issue also okay and let's go to here for example at 2.92 seconds okay okay so let's see 536 seconds this is the time here the that the second motor started also okay so the bus here is still okay because we have still 96.62 percent the other side is also okay because it's almost 100 percent against the nominal voltage 99.14 percent okay so let's close the motor starting time slide slider and let's plot this two motor okay Now, let's select this motor. Let's 
these two motors. Now we're going to verify right now the the nature uh, of their voltage, okay? On the voltage terminal, okay? Okay, and plot. See? Here, this is for the 530, uh, the first motor. We, uh, we said that the motor has to start after one second. Okay, this is... This is the core for the first motor. This is for the voltage. Okay. And, you know, during the start, okay, uh, the motor voltage terminal is, here we have 80, it's probably around 96, 90, 95%. Okay. And here, we have this, this curve here is around 2.2. So it meaning, our motor 1 accelerates at 1 second before it reaches its rate of speed. Okay. This is the code for our motor 2. Okay. We said that this motor has to run after uh, 5 seconds. Okay. The same. Okay. There's no much uh, voltage dip on the mot uh, motor terminal. Okay. And the same also the nature of his is probably this is around... Uh, 95 96 percent voltage dip only and here you see one two three okay so meaning that the the second motor accelerates almost three seconds before it reaches on its rated speed okay let's close this uh, plot manager Okay, so now we have already performed both the static from our previous lesson and to this lesson we perform also uh, a dynamic motor starting analysis and we have discussed earlier also the difference between the static motor starting analysis and the dynamic motor starting analysis okay thanks for watching